The Faramond friction hitch. In today's little exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to tie the Faramond friction hitch, which is one of those lovely little friction hitches where when you get a hold of the actual knot itself and slide it along the line, so I move it that way, I've now made the whole line completely slack. But if I get hold of the knot again and pull it the other way, you can see here that that line is nice and taut and that knot is staying in position and are not allowing it to loosen off. And basically this is the quick release version where I've got a just a, a quick loop here to release it. And it's and the, other, the other thing about this knot is it's a great knot for say for example washing lines, if you're camping, setting up a ridge line for your tarpaulin, um, for guy ropes etc. It's, and it's so easy and simple to tie this one. This is a really little beauty this one. And when you come to undoing it, just pull on this lead here and that's it, it's undone. Totally, you know, it's absolutely superb. So let's get on now and tie the Faramond. I have tied my cord around here, round one end of my tree or pole, and then I'm at the other end here, I bring it round the back of another pole or tree, and then just put this in line so that you can actually see it here. And now what I do is I'm going to tie the actual knot itself now that it's round um, two poles. And the first thing I do is I get hold of the cord and I form a loop underneath itself like so. So basically that cord there is going round like so and then underneath itself. The next thing I do is I bring it across the standing end which is this line here and that loop there I basically pass it through that hole once like so through that hole a second time so that we just have a small loop protruding there where my thumb is poking through and then with the working end again just form a loop in your cord there and pass that loop where my thumb was and then that is the Faramond friction knot. And all I'm going to do now is just pull on all the cords to make sure it's nice and tight. And then once it's nice and tight, pull on all the cords. Just make, just take your time with it. And now I can pull it up nice and tight. And you can see here now that I have got the friction knot in place. And so when I put my fingers on either side of the knot, that's tight at the moment. But if I want to loosen it, I just slide it that way and you can see now that is all slack and loose. But if I want to tighten it again, I just put my thumb and finger on the actual knot itself and slide it the other way. And just slide it up the other way and you can see now that is nice and taut, that line. And then once again, because I put this loop in here, if I pull on this cord now, it's quick release. And if you wanted to, you could actually put a stick or something in there to prevent it from accidentally coming loose. And then you just pull the stick out, pull your cord like so, and then it's undone. As simple as that. Just so simple. So let's go through and tie that again. So I bring it round the back of my tree, so it's secure at one end. And now this end I bring round the back of my pole or tree and let's put that into view so we can see it all and then at the at the, about this point here this is where I'm going to tie the actual Faramond friction knot. So I just get my cord and I form a loop like so so that it goes over and then under and then once I've done that I just bring it over the ridge line itself or whatever the line is and I pass that loop over. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more so that you can see. And you can see the loop is now going over there. I then pass that through there like so. Whoops, missed that. A little bit fiddly when you're not used to it. Like so. So that's gone through once. Take it round a second time. So not unlike the Prusik knot um, as such. And now with this end here, I form a loop. Just form a loop with that end there and pass it through that loop where my thumb is poking through at the moment. Pass it through like so and that then locks it into place. 
So that now in itself is locked into place and all I need to do now is just pull up on everything to make sure that it's nice and tight. Pull it up nice and tight, there we go, and you'll know when it's nice and tight and then pull it up and you can see now here we've got a nice tight knot and I can actually pull that a little bit more and I've got a nice tight, like a drum, on there. And then when I get my two fingers there, I can slide it that way to loosen it and it's all nice and loose now. But then if I get hold of the knot again and I slide it the other way, I can pull it up nice and tight and you can see there, that's tight. In fact, you can go a bit tighter, pull it a bit tighter and then there we have it. There is the ferryman friction hitch and then when I pull that, and don't forget, like I said, you could put a twig in here or something like that so that when it's pulled up tight, if someone accidentally pulls it, it can't come undone. But you can then just pull it like so when you've removed that twig and it just falls apart. And that's it. That is the Farrimon friction hitch. So just one of those lovely little knots to learn. If you need to tension a tarpaulin, a ridge line on a tarpaulin, guy ropes, um, or just rig up a temporary washing line, or even a permanent washing line, if you need to tension it every so often. But anybody who uses the friction knot, can you tell me what it's like in bad windy weather, as to whether that hot knot will hold or not? That would be interesting. So once again, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But whatever you'd give me, please leave a comment and tell me things so that I can help improve this channel. So once again, thanks very much for watching. Please share it and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye bye.